Um, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract um, the package before its contents are destroyed. Welcome back to listening to Bradford waffle on about stuff. Anyway, our uh, objective, of course, is up there. There's several different ways of getting to it. Um, and our squad is once again helmed by a lovely Matt. He has in tow with him Lillian Berg, who is an assault, Masahiro Murakami, who's a sharpshooter, and Riku Goto, who is a technical. And those guys are actually uh, very much new. He has a freaking rocket launcher and a flamethrower. Um, which is pretty awesome. Now, we're gonna go through this uh, path that is already kind of illuminated for us. And we're gonna just scout ahead and see uh, how far, far we can go while not being um, revealed to the enemy. I don't think there's a reason to. Wait. Hold on. Oh, okay. I thought those were turrets, but it's actually just a spotlight. Okay, uh, I'm thinking we just keep on running as far as we can and uh, go fast because we have only a 12 turn timer on this mission. Now, ideally, we could maybe let our sharpshooter Get on top of there? Yeah, nice. Understood. Move and with a blue move, we can just retreat if something comes up. Alright, no enemies in sight, which is great. The road seems to be clear as well. And in that case, um... Yeah, nothing in here either. In that case, we can just, uh run all across the street like this Never liked the taste of this stuff. what okay there's a city in there that could ride us out i guess and another one that's fine um Roger that. let's everybody stay together Because ideally we can just uh, run all the way straight to the objective like this. Go, go, go. Looks like hostiles over here. Okay. Those are eight units. It's quite a lot. <clears throat> well then. <laughs> all right. They're moving away, which is great. Uh, and in that case, let's just run as far away as we can. I'm gonna be a little bit bold here and scout very far ahead to the right here. Because I saw at the end of the road there's nothing there, so. There's nothing behind that van either okay so far so good and maybe we can use that building like either go in or just uh, climb up the ladder Time to motor. and just completely circumvent that squad cuz got I've got an inkling that they might just come back and completely Rain on our parade. <laughs> okay. Mm. So far, so good. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And hopefully, this will show us where the squad went. Not quite. But apparently, this. 
the area behind that uh, building seems clear. So we might just found our our way in. I don't see any enemies anywhere. This seems like a good spot. I just want everybody to be facing or to, to have a uh, to have um, cover to the left so that when they come back they don't see us yet. Uh, yeah, why not? Sorry about my uh, sorry about my chair there. It's a little bit creaky. There's something out there. Mm -hmm. Probably the same guys we already saw. Up oh, here they come. No, it all depends on if we if we're still in concealment. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was a good idea not to go through the uh, road there. Um, now, this is all clear. There's no question about that. So, just a little bit of a cautious move to make extra special sure. No. No enemies whatsoever. Okay. This is the... It's almost the end of the map, too, and the objective is right around the corner. See? Uh, okay, I just want to find a good spot. There we go. <laughs> just lining up behind that statue. Looks like this is like, uh, they had like, uh, propaganda speeches there or something behind this, uh, government building or whatever it is. Doing their team building exercises or something like that. Okay. Getting a little bit close there. Um, now I'm expecting there to be some aliens around the objective, though. If we haven't seen them yet. Um, tell you what. I'm going to take the half cover that's a little bit closer. Just to hopefully find out if, if there's anybody. That we have to go through. I have eyes on the enemy. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. That was very important to see those guys. Um, Got it. The thing is, we might just have to engage like the very next turn. So I'm gonna put everybody into position. To hopefully strike them all down. Here they come. What's it gonna be? X-rays? Oh no! Come on! What are you doing? You're stepping on the grass! That's not... It's highly against regulations. Okay, great. All right. We expected this, though. Um, so whatever we do, we will be uh, spotted next turn. So we might as well set up our trap. Um, I'm looking at this, and the thing with these rockets, though, is that in XCOM, enemy within, those were 100% uh, accurate, but I know from Long War 1 that that's not the case anymore. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwatch everybody else and shoot the rocket at those guys because I can't risk blowing up the objective. 
Make me proud. Yeah! That was a quad kill. Holy shit. And now, please. Everybody, take them. Take them out. <laughs> nice! Yeah! <laughs> the problem, though, is that um, they all spend their uh, overwatches on those guys, and the sectoid is the one I actually wanted. However, this was a great. Like, we wiped those guys. Oh, come on. Come. <sighs> whatever, whatever. You're gonna stun two of us. I actually. Well, missed the second time. Ha! Nice. Okay. This is still pretty good. Ooh. Well, it's still pretty good. I uh, didn't really... Yeah, I, I forgot about that one guy. He's still alive. Barely, but he is. And there was another one way behind the objective that I didn't even see. So, here's the thing. We can, we can just call the Sky Ranger right away. They will wait for us. And uh, this way we can. This is Firebrand. Oh, it's four turns this time. It was two turns before then. But that that's okay. Um, shoot this thing or. Um, we could also get in, in a better position. First, so I can maybe instead because we are getting a little bit uh, short on time right now let's see if I can kill the drone Is somebody else what no come on uh. That was really bad. <laughs> I I had a one hundred percent shot and I I threw it away and got killed in the process. Oh she can still be left alive, I think. Could you please blow up the cover? Because it's more important to actually I'm still not quite sure how it is with explosives and cover uh, destroying destruction I guess uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I mean he's our highest value target but the thing is if yeah thank you very much if we keep getting our soldiers um, incapacitated by these drones we might just get all wiped out because nobody's left conscious, you know? Wanna possibly prevent that. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Well, I do love when they do that because that particular guy is no threat to us whatsoever. At least not right now. And we're gonna kill the sector in the next turn, hopefully. Anyway. Uh, ugh. Well, your armor soaked it up, so it's not too bad. Thank you for missing. I'm not really using my sniper to its best to his best abilities, I, I gotta say. Like, especially for a mission like this, I think having a sniper is not that great. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Um, let's see what Matt does first. 
Because maybe, depending on what's happening with him, you might want to do something else. Please hit with this one. It'd be very nice of you. Thank you. Well, Matt is on point today. Well done. So now... Maybe we can chance it to shoot at the... <laughs> that was not the alien I wanted to shoot! Damn! Enemy down. That was an accident. <laughs> Shot the harmless Psy zombie instead of the actual... Sectoid. My bad. Man. It would be really nice if Goto could find it is hard to actually wake up at some point. Because I'm thinking maybe I could sneak up behind them and just roast their asses with the flamethrower or something like that. Okay, finally. Oh, he's not even disoriented anymore. Um, how are you stunned? How are you flanked on that tile? Who's flanking you? I don't see anybody. Like, I don't know. The thing is, we have to get moving. <laughs> Because we only have these three turns left to actually Position. retrieve the thing. Shit. Ooh. You got away with it. Um, I think we take the shot with the grenade. Hopefully it's a kill. It's only three HP. Yeah, thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, uh, the... The package has um, explosives on it, and that's when it's gonna... Oh, okay, so the other guy way over there was the one with the flank. Um... Oh, come on! They're just out of range. That is so bad. And I think I could've just ran... I could've just run... Uh like one point out the I think that's more important right now uh, out of cover or something and that would have been able to to hit them it, what what excuse me <laughs> I just I didn't even realize that that was a five uh, damage hit on that on the fucking Sectoid, that is sick, man. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna wipe them. <laughs> Who could have guessed, man? Um, the other thing, though, well, first of all, highest priority get the package. Mm-hmm. Open the door. I said open the door. I just not gonna do thank you. <laughs> and then we move all the way over here. So that in the next turn we can retrieve it. And that's also going to be uh, when our evac arrives. <laughs> Couldn't have planned this better. Nice. Now, you know what I'm thinking, right? There's nobody else to shoot, so let's just have our sniper go over here. Because the assault is still not dead. She's still bleeding out. What if we went yeah you'll be able to evac her just as the 
evac arrives and I don't think she should bleed out before then and that might save her life. Firebrand, it's time to go. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. We got reinforcements incoming, but uh, that's okay. Moving. So we're gonna get her in position. And I think you can, yeah, you can evac both of them at the same time. <laughs> Man. I just thought of that. <laughs> Okay, and then, uh, for the actual important thing, hacking this thing. So we can disarm the detonator. It's also a way to get more alloys, but with a tech score of 5, I don't think we should try that. Even. I'm still not sure if we can... Uh... Oh, nice. Data cache, that's what you want. I'm still not sure if we can attempt the, you know, more sophisticated hack risk-free. Hmm. Anyway. A little bit too late there, Advent. I'm sorry to say, but we're out of here. Nothing you can do there. I'm sorry. Now if uh, Miss Berg survives, I'm gonna be so happy. This mission couldn't have gone better if that were the case, but I'm not gonna be uh, too hopeful right now. Although it it didn't say she died. No soldiers. Oh, soldiers killed one. Damn it. I was like, wait a second. We don't have any. No, there's one. <laughs> Shit. Well, it was still a really good mission, especially if you consider that. It was only like 50% readiness. Yeah, uh, Matt was totally the um, the MVP here. There's no question about that. Um, he risked life and limb and uh, got the package. Got in, got out. And I'm sorry, Miss Berg. That was my own fault. I shouldn't have let you uh, run there. You should have just taken the... Um, you know, the surefire way of killing the drone and then going ahead from there. But who knows? Well, you know, <laughs> water under the bridge, right? Right? I'm a little bit bummed out though. If I can, uh, Uh, that's so bad. If I can evac her in time, I don't think she should die. They probably have medics in there or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, we got some promotions. Our technical is a Lance Corporal now. Uh, let's see. Fire in the hole. Your rockets are more accurate. That might come in handy. Suppression is, you know, just suppression and roust. Special flamethrower shot that does limited damage but forces enemies to change their position. Honestly, I'm fine with the flamethrower. I want more predictability for my rockets. I think that's more important. Uh, Matt. He can get center of mass, which gives him an additional point of base damage when using guns. Uh, I think we... We already had a gunner that we promoted, right? He had the same, um, the same options. I think I want to give. Although, yeah, I think I want to give him com combatives more because of the dodge. I hope it's, it's a passive ability. 
and parrying melee attacks and counteracting counterattacking them sounds cool too. So let's make him a knife fighter. And uh, Murakami, he has either death from above, killing an enemy at a lower elevation with your sniper rifle. It costs only a single action and does not end your turn. Also grants a long range accuracy bonus for sniper rifles. Hmm. Okay, as long as he's up top in the building. That sounds good. Rapid targeting. You may hold target an enemy at a f as a free action with a fork turn cooldown. In addition, holo targeting no longer ends your turn. Hmm. Not bad either. And snapshot, uh, you may take standard shots and enter standard overwatch with your sniper right, rifle after mu moving, but you suffer severe range penalties beyond five tiles of squad side range on all targets. This more or less makes him... He, he becomes... Like a marksman, not really a sniper rifle, a sniper uh, sharpshooter anymore. So I think I want death from above, right? To give him that extra bonus when he's on top top of buildings. Sorry again, Miss Berg. And um, this was a very very nice mission. Like it couldn't have gone much better. Thank you very much for watching, uh, and I'll see you around next time with uh, more strategy because as well as we're doing on tactics uh, I'm a little bit I'm not so sure if we could um, improve our strategic layer a little bit more because we're lacking recruits we're lacking money and we're lacking intel but we'll see about that anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you around next time bye bye